These trucks emerging from the Syrian desert carry some of the very last residents of the Islamic State's collapsing pseudo-caliphate. They are fleeing the final stages of battle. We are besieged. We have nowhere to retreat or flee to. All we have now is God. We were hungry. They were bombing day and night. Look at the state we're in. I've tried to escape twice. The first time my son was killed and my wife was wounded. She's in the car. The bullet tore through the car. I was wounded here, here and here. I was holding my son. He died in my arms. On top of the heavy fighting, disease and famine are spreading inside IS's last stronghold. There isn't enough to eat for me to produce milk, and there's no milk at the market. IS militants are known to blend in with the civilians. The Syrian Democratic Forces are on edge. They screen everyone. These men have been placed under arrest, pending further investigation. Women are also considered dangerous. Almost none of them have decided to remove their full face veils. Some declare openly that they are married to fighters. My husband's still inside. He's one of them. He's an IS fighter. I'm not going to lie. He's with IS. They'll lose the territory, but I can tell you they'll retreat into the desert. The veterans, those who fought with Al-Qaeda, they'll disappear into the desert and leave their families here. SDF intelligence takes each person's fingerprints and photographs. Amongst the 500 people that have just arrived, there are a number of foreign women who have traveled to the so-called caliphate to marry jihadists. This truck is full of Turkish nationals. A group is waiting in this 4x4. They let us film them but refuse to answer our questions. We find out where they come from thanks to our wireless microphone. This meeting point in the desert is only the first stop for these refugees. Their trip continues towards special camps where they will be interrogated and investigated. As the fighting intensifies for the last square kilometers of the Islamic State Group's caliphate, civilians are fleeing, running for their lives in large numbers. The question now is how many are still inside? And we can cross live to Eastern